is the message a Christian religion? Wow, that's a <clears throat> that's a tough one to answer, Charles. My my response for this would be, what is the message? In your sect, Charles, if I ask you what is the message, you're going to give me a different answer than <laughs> in, in the main sect. <clears throat> what is the message? I can assure you if I go to the West Coast and I ask a church what is the message, they're going to give me a different answer as to the East Coast, what is the message. There are no two churches, sometimes even within the same city, who have the same views on what was the quote-unquote message. I've actually heard ministers say the message is that Christ is returning and God has called a people. Well, that's a Christian notion, man. If that's the Christian, if that's the message, <laughs> that's the Christian message. I've also heard some say that God has called a prophet to condemn the world to hell and to condemn the Christians who did not accept the prophet as their ticket to heaven. You know, they use other verbiage as their ticket to heaven. God sent this message to condemn those to hell. Well, that's the anti-Christian message. So if you ask, is it a Christian religion? Well, what's the religion is my second question. First, what's the message? But second, well, what's the religion? <laughs> it's different. You don't find any agreement or coherent thought. And I always go back to the verse, God is not the author of confusion. When you examine the religion, it is a religion of confusion. When you examine any doctrine and you go study, we've got the resources to study what the man said. Was he a Trinitarian? He said, I accept the Holy Trinity. He accept, specifically, I accept the third person in the Trinity. So any group who forms off of William Branham's theology of accepting the third person of the Trinity is going to oppose those who say anybody who accepts the persons of the Trinity are condemned to hell. They've chosen the mark of the beast. Well, that's their message. That's their religion. William Branham said both. So which is it? Is he Trinitarian? Is he anti-Trinitarian? What is the message? What is Christianity? The problem for me is that this is deeper than just the message. This We mentioned this, I think, in the first series of questions that we answered, but... This was a plague that infected the Christian church, and it was a movement that transformed what it meant to be Christian to a general public audience. Many of those men who left this, knowing that it was heresy, they got into positions and they were influenced, so they began to influence denominations. So this was a cancer that spread throughout American Christianity. <clears throat> it changed the view of what is the church, the church is the people. If you read the Bible, the church is the people. But in the message, they think the church is the message people or the message denomination of faith, but they'll say we're not a denomination. <laughs> everybody's welcome, but everybody's not welcome. So for me, the answer is this simple. If you are in a movement that believes simply the Christian gospel, and you follow the words of Christ, and you don't put any power in a human being as your mediator between God and man, then you're in a Christian religion. Can you say that about any message sect? I haven't seen one. Now, they may exist. I haven't seen one that's like this. Almost everyone that I've been to, you have to accept William Branham in one shape or one way, shape, or form as your mediator between God and man. Yeah, so is the message of Christian religion, I mean, it is a loaded question, like you said, John, and it is because that is so hard to answer because even within the same sect, two churches will define the message differently. And you have on, you have on one end of the spectrum message churches that are, you know, not very different than vanilla Pentecostalism. And, you know, I, I believe that Pentecostals in general are Christians, right? So I, mean, I would say that on that end of the spectrum, sure, the message believers are Christians. 
Um, but then you get to the other end of the spectrum where they baptize and pray in the name of William Branham. Um, and no, they are not Christians, right? There's, there's definitely full-in idolatry on a false god. And so the, the, you have the spectrum from one end to the other. And at a certain point in that spectrum, you cross the line where William Branham is usurping uh, the role of Savior, the role of Holy Spirit, you know, the role of God. And at a certain point, you go so far down that line and you got to say, I don't think these guys are Christians anymore, right? Um, you know, when William Branham has entered your... Um, formula for salvation. No, you're not Christians anymore, right? When, when um, you know, the Holy Spirit is no longer guiding your life, but something else, you know, the message preacher has entirely usurped the role of Holy Spirit guiding your life. Are you Christian anymore? I don't, I don't know. Maybe um, you, you, things start to get fuzzy, right? So, is some is some of our people in the message Christian? Sure, lots and lots of people in the mes message are true, genuine Christians, um, and then also lots and lots of people in the message are idolaters of the worst sort and actually worship a false god. And you know, I I would not want to paint any uh, paint with too broad of a brush. I think that generally it's not up to you and I to judge people's hearts and souls as individuals. That's up to God, right? Uh, but we can say the message leans towards um, an idolization of William Branham. Even the sects that would not present themselves in that way, there is some role that belongs to God that they have definitely given over to William Branham or to their present leadership slash ministry um, standing in the role of God. Um, that is, depending on which group it is, is how problematic it is. So is it a Christian religion? Um, it depends.